Comes back. 92 on the uh -oh. fastball. Dick, somebody got Jerko with the old gum and the <laughs> cup on top of the hat. Oh, that's the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> that and the old hot foot. You know what the key though is? You got to try to put water in there. So when he tilts his head, water comes out. He's like, "Where's that water coming from?" Come on. No, oh, yeah. You feel the weight then, wouldn't you? Well, some guys just don't get it. <laughs> two and two now. To Fraser. It's a nice look, don't you think? Oh yeah. And, and you know, the, the key is that his teammate. You can't give it away. You can't look at him and like start laughing, or else you think something's going to be up. See how long uh, the whole thing will last. You saw a peak of Nick Vincent still on the DL. What? What's what? What do you mean? What's on my head? <laughs> He's got no clue. Full count. Ground ball to short. Amarista in between hop. And a one-two-three inning for Kevin Quackenbush. Stretch half of the seventh at Petco. It's number 13 on the list of rules in the clubhouse. Always wear your cup. <laughs> and Jed, Jed Jerko bringing some smiles. <laughs> Even pitchy coach Darren Balsley likes it. Jose <laughs> Valentin is trying to score two points. And uh, protective hood now for Jed Jerko. Oh, when he tried to put the hood on, he realized that they were trying to flick sunflower seed shells in that cup. <laughs> Well, a job well done. Well, the Franksters are out. CC Lee has has been duped. This, the cup secured to the top of his hat with bubble gum, and he doesn't even know. Well, yeah, just look at the guy next to him. I'll tell you, he's laughing. Well, Katie's going to give it away because she's laughing, and he's looking right at her. She, she can't even keep a straight face. <laughs> yeah, I'm away. being serious, that Katie. <laughs> CC's looking around like, what's everyone laughing at What are you doing? Guys, I'm not saying anything. I know what You're has happened. You're giving it away. But, uh, I mean, he really does have no clue. And <laughs> well, I he will if he just looks at you. <laughs> I know. I believe Mark Zipchinski is the culprit. Yeah. He's now hiding because we're not supposed to say anything. But right. gum, gum has yeah. attached that to his head. Well, that's a good sign. I mean, hey, it was a tough, brutal weekend for the ball club. They went in with high hopes. Tigers took all three. Got to bounce back though. I mean, there's still two weeks. What a moment that was. Defining moment of that team in regular season play. It's such a, a fun season of baseball. 85 and 87. So what if he has to go out and play defense today? Right. Will, will they tell him? They've got to, right? Oh, they probably should. And if he doesn't play, is he going to find out, like, when he goes in to after the game, take a shower. He's going to wonder now, how long has that been up there? Oh, he's fixing the other guy's hat. You might want to look in the mirror, pal. Oopsie Daisy. <laughs> Oops. Looking around, who did that to me? <laughs> None of his teammates talking to him probably at that point. Then you got to watch the field to what do you probably what do you mean? What they probably new teammates too. They, I mean Johnson and Johnson and he did it not me. Oh yeah point to somebody else. Yeah throw him under the bus. Well, the song they got him with a bubble gum on top of the hat. I'd be careful doing it to somebody if you didn't know him. <laughs> Elton pops it out of play. I'm gonna take that guy out to turn around and take your picture. Yeah, this guy may not think that that's really funny. Plus, it also tells you that there's nobody that he knows is watching the game, or they'd be texting him, or he doesn't have a phone. It's going to be there a while. Yep. Those are the two guys that got him. You see, go down, you see, Linscombe. They're always together.
Well, even though it's the 13th inning, a little hijinks going on in that Reds dugout. Jose Peraza, unbeknownst to him, a little addition to his Reds cap. Of course, you can't see it now, but there you go. And Alfredo Simon there on his left. Was that Suarez on his right? In the middle, Jose Peraza. See now, even Billy Ham or Billy uh, Hatcher has seen that trick at least a hundred times, but still gets a kick out of it. Uh oh. <laughs> he wants to know who to blame. It's probably Simon. He's playing it cool on that. Well, boys will be boys. A hot foot has been scheduled. Whose cue was that? Oh, that's Scott Van Slyke. Okay. Little does he know. Remember, he got kicked out the other night for arguing about third strike call. We shall await further developments. Uh, we will see. Adrian's cooling off. Or oh, maybe they tried to light it and he was trying to fan it. Oh. Oh, look out here. Nada. The whole bench is waiting. And six to nothing in favor of the Dodgers. The big dramatic moment is what about the hot foot? For Scott Van Slyke. Well, Adrian certainly set it on fire. It took a while before Scotty reacted. And the first thing he does, something smells wrong in here. What is it that smells? Is there anything wrong with my hat? There's something rotten in Denmark. What? Is it? Maybe it's my hat. No. Ah, now <laughs> we found it. So needless to say, the Dodgers are playing pranks. They are not only leading six to nothing. They're well aware the fact as the bench breaks up that the Giants are losing at least three nothing. And one of the. And Marte a chance to drive in a run with Mercer, the man at second base and Garrett Cole. Does not uh, the know. old bubblegum trick. Yeah, he does not know what's happening around him, and everybody's keeping a straight face. Well, the pranksters are out. CC Lee has has been duped. He's he got the cup secured to the top of his hat with bubblegum, and he doesn't even know it. Well, yeah, just look at the guy next to him, and he'll, he'll tell you he's laughing. Well, Katie's going to give it away because she's laughing, and he's looking right at. She's she can't even keep a straight face. You're giving yeah, it away. I mean, seriously, Katie. <laughs> CC's looking around like, why is everybody laughing at what me? What are you doing? Guys, I'm not saying anything. I know uh, what has happened. You're giving it away. But, uh, I mean, he really does have no clue. And <laughs> well, I he will if he just looks at you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I believe Mark Zipchinski is the culprit. Yeah. He's now hiding because we're not supposed to say anything. But right. gum, gum has yeah. attached that to his head. Yeah. Well, that's a good sign. I mean, hey, it was a tough, brutal weekend for the ball club. They went in with high hopes. Tigers took all three. CC Lee finally figured it out. Well, you know, it's right before he goes between the lines. Oh, well. Somebody got him. At least it's not the hot foot. Oh, boy, I can't. Less painful, more embarrassing. TJ Rivera is on deck. Ploiecki discovered the gum on his hat. Well, the Phils have an eight nothing lead, and everybody's having fun. Aaron Nola says, "What? Wait, what? What's going on? What's on my hat?" And he realizes now that he is the victim of the ever popular bubble on the cap joke. <laughs> uh, it's fun to have an eight nothing lead, as you said, Mike. <laughs>